Hey everyone, it's Matt. Uh, I am here, as you can see behind me, at Red Mountain. Oh wait, you can't see it. No, you can see smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke all around. Um, they're calling this, they're calling this AQI of 157, um, which, uh, I don't know, uh, it's actually 157 of PM 2.5 plus another 135 of PM 10. So it's pretty thick. Uh, I took my mask off so that I could talk to you. Um, and this is kind of, I think, in large part going to be the story of the vintage is whether this smoke has an impact. Uh, unfortunately, the state, of, the state of smoke impact science on wines is uh, not super precise. So there, there are no hard and fast answers as to whether, whether we're going to be tasting some smoky wines this year. Um, we are, we're running test fermentations and, um, you know, looking at all the information that we can get. I mean, there's been smoke from I mean, all kinds of different fires blowing through here from different directions at different times and like when it hits, when, what the vines are doing, um, the intensity, duration, all that stuff plays a factor onto whether you can actually taste the smoke in the wine, whether it's white wine, red wine, um, Everything is a variable that affects whether you'll actually be able to taste that in the wines. Um, so I've got my fingers crossed that the wines are going to be great. Um, so far, everything's looking great. It's been a crazy harvest up to now, which is why I haven't been um, talking to you very much. Uh, we may finally the weather's cooled off a little bit, so I think we're going. We may catch a little bit of a break, uh, be able to catch up. Uh, on some things at the winery, which is good. And by things, I mean winemaking, because we, we basically filled the wine winery up. Um, so we'll get some of that stuff through fermentation and uh, put, put it in barrels before the next wave hits. So today um, we're picking Lemberger. This is our second day of Lemberger. Um, and uh, after this, uh, we got Chenin Blanc coming up and Malbec and Cab Sauve and finally the Morved and Petit Verdot. Um, I haven't added it up recently, but I think we've, we've definitely got at least half our tonnage in. Uh, which means that the work is, you know, at least a quarter of the way done. Uh, all right, so that's your smoky harvest update for today. Uh, I'm sure Red Mountain will reappear in the near future. Um, until then, stay safe, wear your mask, and <laughs> keep counting on us to be making the wine.